Hey folks, it's Uncle Jimbo. And since I fried the Friday Free Fly by being too dumb to operate the audio portion, this is going to have to suffice. I'd like to call this a tale of two Aussies. I'm going to contrast the difference between Steve Earle, the crocodile hunter and an all-around good dude, and CNN's Michael Ware, their Baghdad bureau chief, who in my opinion's a weasel. Now Steve Irwin's pretty well known, but sadly died recently when a stingray stabbed him in the chest. Dang. And uh, he's well known for a couple things. Mainly, I think, his catchphrase of crikey, but more importantly, SNAKE! Now he yelled that about a couple of dozen times on each one of his shows. And immediately following that, whereas most people's natural reaction when someone yells snake would be to jump back, Steve went forward every time. Part of that was because he was crazy. Part of that's because he knew he was the one who ought to be snake handling and croc handling and wrangling whatever kind of crazed beasts he ran into. Now the bottom line is, that's one type of person. That's an action person. There's another kind of person exemplified in the person of CNN's Michael Witt. Now Mike's a fellow Aussie and recently he's been on the screen talking on all kinds of these television shows talking about the dangers in Baghdad with the explosions in the green zone and the hiding under my bed in the hotel scared to go out on the streets. Now he's been sounding a lot like the Crocodile Hunter in tone but not in reality. Mike's scared. Mike knows that it's a dangerous place in Baghdad but Mike has gone over to the side of the defeated. Now it wasn't a long journey for him because remember CNN's the outfit that managed to air video of snipers from the other team killing our troops. They aired that on U.S. television. Yeah, and their headquarters is in Atlanta. Feel free to write. The bottom line is, those two people perfectly exemplify the opposite ends of the spectrum as to how to deal with the world. You can either hide under your bed in the green zone in Baghdad and accept email or blackberry reports from your Iraqi stringers out in the street who hmm, seem to be pretty tight with the insurgents, Mike. What's up with that? Bottom line is, that's one way to do it. The crocodile hunter, that's the other way to do it. Right now, General Petraeus is leading squads and platoons and battalions and brigades of crocodile hunters trying to take on the insurgents and actually win this. If that's not fitting with your agenda, Mike, tough. That's what we're about. You go ahead and get back underneath your bed and order some room service.